I'm trying to diagnose these motors and why they don't spin at the proper speed based on the delay time between uh, motor chip pulses. Um, I think I've got it figured out. So I'm going to step down from 5 milliseconds per pulse to 1 millisecond per pulse and check out what happens to these speeds. Right, let me upload this. This is uploading and compiling. Console. Now let's telnet into the device. Oops. Open. Take it at 168.0.20. Into the device. So now we can test mode. Oops. Test mode. Ah. Test mode. Okay. So five looks like. Now it'll pick up is when it sends back by its so now let me change this to four. Load again. My console. Close. Close. Open. 2.168.0.20. As soon as this connects. Takes it a minute. There we go, that was a little faster. You can tell by the motor sound. Three milliseconds. Test mode. So that's much faster. Hear by the motor sound. Two milliseconds. And we're going to do that. Let's say that there, that 20. Time. Do 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 do. This guy takes a while. I don't know why this module takes so long to connect to a Wi-Fi network. There we go. And test mode. Look how fast they go. All right. Last but not least. One millisecond in here. Boop. Close and open to take that zero dot twenty. Let's keep an eye on these motors. See, so we got that one slow motor. Let's do that again. So it seems for uh, the most consistent purposes, let me. Let me add a zero to each of these. 
Whoops. And recompile and re-upload just so we can get a good look at it. This is hard to do one-handed. So these motors start making a lot of noise when I add like a a weight of some kind or a load of some kind to the the motor. All right, test mode. Yeah, so this motor's going slow, but these guys are going quick. So let me try to ah. These guys will be going for a while. Get over there. That's kind of going. You can see it's slowing down, and it's it's dealing with the uh, counterweight effect and how it affects the rotation. So that kind of makes me wonder how fast these guys are, uh, or how powerful these guys are in terms of what sort of loads they can actually carry. Or push around. Um, let me do this test mode again and keep this directly opposite. Not load. Let me do that again. Test mode. So you can hear that one motor is going real slow. Let me do a reset. Move them out of there and change this time to two. Delay time. Between the motor, close this connection, recompile, re upload, uh, close, open. So, I think it has to do with the fact that these motors are not designed to have loads that are not uh, perfectly balanced. If anything sort of pulls on them sideways, um, it affects them. And since the center of the motor is a magnet that uses magnetic force, so look at that, now it's perfect. So delay time is the issue. Um, and if the pulse if the pulse with uh, if the pulses are not um, if pulses are too fast for the motor, the motor has a has a load on it that pulls the axis um, in a certain just so it's not perfectly centered between the uh, between the magnets in the motor, then it will cause grinding. So look at that, perfect, awesome. So there's our answer. We need to keep our delay times short. Awesome.